Yo, what's going on, everyone? This is your Yankee Mad Dog Messiah here with you. I got a little bit of some extra for you. The personification of greatness is here. Of course, the king of the IWC, the Mad Dog of the IWC, and the Messiah of the IWC here on this Monday, April 24, 2023. So, um... Yeah, we're in WWE Draft Week. Hmm. Which I'm not going to be watching. Why Why bother watching fucking the WWE Draft? WWE in general, because WWE is fucking trash. Now that Vince McMahon is back, so. <laughs> Who am I roasting today? Cora Jade. So, Cora Jade. Who is viewed by WWE as the next Sasha Banks. Is one of the WWE NXT stars being eyed up by Triple H for a call up to either WWE Raw or SmackDown in this week's WWE Draft. Now I also read reports. That Cora Jade is going to be having a dock match tonight on Monday Night Raw. Which kind of makes sense. Given the fact that uh, with all of these NXT talents getting into these dock matches. There is an indication that there is going to be some call-ups. But I got a problem with calling somebody the next Sasha Banks. Really? Really. Really. First of all, not many can stake claim to be in the next Sasha Banks. With the influence that Sasha Banks has brought to generations of women's wrestlers for decades to come. But you want to call up Cora Jade? A Cora Jade that hasn't even found her footing in her character. A Cora Jade that I have to say is a Dollar Tree version of Paige. I could say a Wish.com version of Paige. You see, you know what you're doing, WWE? WWE, you're already setting her up for failure. With these lofty expectations that more than likely will never be achieved. Gotta fucking call her the next Sasha Banks. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. That narrative... It needs to take a backseat big time. You're not even in Sasha Banks' league. And yeah, I agree with people in this community that Cora Jade is not ready to be on the main roster. And that adding her to the main roster, you, I are, I'm already going to give you a prediction here. I swear to God, man, if this fucking happens within a year or two, you can minus call me the Nostradamus of professional wrestling. I'm already the fucking Nostradamus of New York Yankee baseball. She's going to get lost in the shuffle because they're forcing too much on her too fast. You know what the better idea is, WWE, even though I don't watch that fucking garbage known as NXT... What did it happen to my NXT that I was watching years ago? You got to let her grow in NXT and develop her character. So, yeah. Um, you're not even fucking <laughs> up there with Sasha Banks. Like, get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. Sasha Banks is already fucking big already. Yeah, I know she lost this past weekend uh, at that stardom show, which I'm yet to watch. But, man, 
And yet you people out there saying, oh, well, Sasha Banks, um, there's going to be a couple of more years um, that, um, what is it? Is she's gonna have to be? Uh, it's gonna wait a couple more years until she becomes the Rocket John Cena. Fuck out of here! You want to know who the next Sasha Banks is? Roxanne Perez. And the only thing that Roxanne Perez needs is character. That's it. Fuck, man. <laughs> I, I, I really don't have anything much to say about this, but damn, you fucking WWE people backstage, man. You fucking creative, man. You guys are fucking sick in the head, man. Like, like seriously, man. You got it. Yo, whatever you're fucking smoking, give that shit to me right now. And, mar and marijuana's fucking legal in Rhode Island, too. Yo, give me some of that fucking shit that you're smoking, man. I fucking smoked that shit on 420. Cora Jade as the next Sasha Banks. Fuck out of here. I'm out, guys. See you guys later. Fuck the haters. Fuck the geeks. Uh, fuck the cloud chasers. Fuck Vince McMahon. Fuck Roman Reigns. And fuck Rod Strowman too. Oh yeah. Dig it. Bia Biatch. Signing off.